this is a part I'm uh, working with in, um, in a program called Tinkercad. It's um, a plate with a fulcrum. This, this hole up here is designed to take a shaft which rotates and these slots here make uh, an adjustable mounting on the side of a grow box I'm making. So all very well, looks great. Um, so I printed it and just like the last wide thing I printed, um, it was a disaster. Warped horribly. On this occasion I used the, the plastic bed of the Tronc CX1 printer and I used some glue stick to hold it down and I did a brim which was six millimeters wide. Um, didn't help. So you can see lots of warping here and where it's warped um, the part is thin. This, this is unusable. Um, it's three layers on the top, three layers on the bottom, and 20% infill. Um, what I did to improve the situation was to enclose the print bed in um, a shroud of this um, emergency blanket stuff, high reflectivity. This made a shroud and in, uh, in, ensured that the uh, vents in the control box here were putting warm air into this space and so with the emergency blanket, including over the top, to keep um, most of the warm air in and cut down on um, warping. The other things I did was cut down the surfaces from two layers, uh, from three layers to two layers, cut down the infill from 20% um, to 10%, and it prints much quicker, uses a lot less plastic, um, and it doesn't warp nearly as much. So if we look at it to the sky, we can see the honeycomb in the middle, and if we look at the part itself, you can see that it's much more uniform in shape. It's not perfect, um, but it's not too bad. There's, you can see the wedge shape structure of it there. And it's got some rock on it. But this will work for the part that I want. So some progress. Um, however, I still haven't solved the warping issue. I've had some feedback from you guys on the, on the forums. Um, but so far I don't have a solution to this problem. So anyway, I thought I'd post this because there's some useful information perhaps for people um, in a similar boat and maybe someone can help me to solve this problem completely. Because um, to make much more progress with my 3D printing, I need to be able to print um, wide flat parts. Um, so if you've got any thoughts for me, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.